Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Chef Lance with Deja Food and Decor. So today, I wanna to talk a little bit about bending and actually take you with me on one of my bending excursions. Now to me, there's not a better way for you to get the whole word out there about a business that you're trying to promote other than bending. So no one really knows what they're going into when they're going into a venue for the first time to bend. However, if you do have the opportunity to vend that particular facility or that particular event a second time, you can kind of gauge what it is that you'll be able to produce or what it is that you'll be able to capture or your goal for that particular audience or for that particular type of patron. So with T-Mobile, I have had the opportunity to vend with T-Mobile in prior months. So this time, I kind of knew the things that I could have learned from my last experience that would help promote me getting closer to the goal that I have for this particular experience. And so one thing that I knew that I lacked the last time that I did a vending event for T-Mobile was the ability to give people printed material that they could resource and go back to find out how do I get in touch with this person that I had this great food? Or how do I get in touch with this caterer that gave me this great idea or I saw the great decor? How do I get in touch with him? So what I learned is that you at all times have a plethora of information and reference material in reference to how to get in touch with you when you do a vending event. There are multiple ways to do that. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to be posting a video basically talking about the inexpensive ways I find to have printed material or anything that can be given to someone that can promote my business like postcards, like blast cards, like, um, you know, maybe even like your average business card. So I will be posting a video on that. But the one thing you should know about vending is that you should have your information absolutely everywhere. After all, that's the purpose of you vending. You want people to understand that you have a product and once they taste that great product, they want to be able to get in touch with you or you want them to be able to get in touch with you. Hey guys, so I made it out to Camp Creek and as you can see, it is raining like crazy outside, but we're here. It's still a good day for vending. Now, when you're vending, you want to make sure that you have some of your signature items. So I did bring the cups as you will see in the video, but I also brought my Deja Food and Decor jerk wings and my Deja Food and Decor Hennessy wings. And we're going to serve those with potato salad and a roll. You want to make sure that you have your advertisement material. So I do, I do have my promotional material to get everyone out to the page so that they, so that they can subscribe and become a Deja Foodie. And I also have some of my business cards so people know how to contact me here in the Atlanta area. Finding out vending avenues in your area can be just as simple as asking questions, asking around to other vendors who actually do vending, look into your local publications because a lot of times vendors or people who are looking for vendors will actually post ads to let people know for their upcoming event that vending opportunity is available. And when you see those opportunities, you have to jump on it like this. If you're looking for a great way to get the word out there about a new service or a new product that you have, I have found that vending has been one of the best foolproof ways of interacting with customers and allowing them to see and taste your product all while making that relation or bond with that customer that may bring them back to find out more about your company.
goal was to gain a couple new subscribers from vending, and I did just that today. Thank you to all of my new Deja Foodies who subscribed today and had the chance to meet me one-on-one -on -one and had a chance to taste Deja Food and Decor. I thank you for subscribing, and I really appreciate if you share and make sure that you like this video so that others also can see what Deja Food and Decor has to offer. Just in time for the holidays, this week I will be posting my very first parody, all centered around food, but it's definitely going to talk about the co-workers that everyone have a tendency to whisper about when it's time for the company potluck and why. So you definitely want to tune in to Deja Food and Decor TV to make sure that you catch that video for a great laugh. So once again, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have not yet, hit the subscribe button to become one of the Deja Foodies here at Deja Food and Decor TV on YouTube. Also, like and share this video and spread the word that Deja Food and Decor is here to help you with all of your event, planning, catering, and culinary needs. I'll see you the next time.